Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome to another stream of Sim Airport. So we are um, continuing with our airport where we are looking for the grants. Frag B, hi, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Um, now, we are continuing, we're working our way through the grants and I think it's a good idea that we do this. Um, in the last episode, we managed to complete this pretty decent uh, little office complex up here. It looks a little bit more professional, unlike the usual just kind of squeezing in the um, the offices wherever we find a little spot for it. So I like it. I kind of like it. And I will expand this over here and we can have room for some additional stuff. Some of the other things we do need to do, however, is get some first class lounges in place. And so that's one of the things that we're going to uh, look at um, in this episode. Uh, let's continue it going. Um, it's, we just ended uh, ended the day, so let's have a quick look. We've got a few, uh, a little bit of money here from a loan that we've taken out. So let's see. Yesterday we kind of where did we spend a lot of money? Where did we lose all of this? Bank, bank. Why did the bank take so much? Wow, that's the bank's interest. Ooh, then we're gonna be in trouble. Then we're gonna be in trouble. Definitely gonna be in trouble. Okay, we're continuing our way along, getting some research done, but we also need to find um, some room for the kind of first class lounges. And I thought um, some of the things that we need to do is get ourselves um, uh, the larger gates. So. What I thought we'd do is, uh, let's uh, switch off that planning guidelines over there, is we'll get ourselves an additional, the question is, do we need an additional runway? Can we not maybe add the runway over here? Pixel, how are you? Increase the volume, please. Okay. I can increase it every time and I kind of think, Ooh. <laughs> uh, Yeah, so uh, Pixel, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Glad you can join us. Okay, so let's see. Maybe I thought maybe we'd extend this one a little bit and then go for the medium stands and then we'll have room for a larger one over here. So that was kind of the, the thinking that I had. So if I go asphalt runway over here, if we then say, um, we'll exp expand it, say, to, well, we've got A320s in there. Um, okay, if we do something like that, maybe. That's going to cost us a little bit, but that should be fine. So let's do that. We expand that. Why is this? It's now saying, oh, it needs uh, obviously some taxiway. So let's add taxiway um, from there to there. Okay, so now all of that should be fine. And immediately we should be able to um, go ahead and get some bigger stuff coming in. I'm kind of happy with what we've got going on over here. I'm watching while doing my homework. <laughs> um, that could be a recipe for disaster, but uh, I appreciate it nonetheless. Excellent. Uh, I, I hope I, um, I help you with your homework then. Um, okay, so let's see. Um, I thought what we'd do is we'll expand our foundation over here. Kind of going to fill out the rest of this. Um, and what we'll need to do... I thought we'd also maybe expand a little bit more over here. It's not going to be too cool, but that kind of look over there. So we can expand what we've got over here in terms of baggage claim and ticketing. Uh, and then we can basically start running in some stuff directly over here. So let's uh, expand. Okay, let's stop that and let's try and expand it. Um somewhat over here i don't want to get it to get too expensive here so maybe something like maybe something like that as the as the the primary expansion okay hang on let's try this again let's try it the other way around instead oh we can't actually do that well maybe we can it's just gonna be oh and we can't get too close to there either Okay, wow, it's quite interesting. This is a, I think this is a fairly new mechanic. The fact that you can actually build and it just kind of limits you to a certain, to a certain extent. So let's go with that one for now. And I'm kind of thinking about 14 like that. We'll go with that. Okay, and then we'll keep these walls in place. Uh, I'm watching all do yeah we do make two two terminals exactly that's what I'm gonna try and do because we have two ticketing areas two and we can link them differently I thought that that would be amazing so let's uh, let's do that um, I've decided we'll kind of 
oops, that's not what I want to do. Open up here a little bit so we can kind of sort that out. Um, I'll open up over here and over there and over here and also over there and we'll see about this store whether this store remains or whether it goes i think it'll probably go okay now with that in mind i'm thinking new security area over here there's a lot of kind of wasted space in here that we've now paid for and then some gates up here so let's go ahead grab ourselves some gates uh, okay so let's grab the the uh the gates gates i think yeah large gates is what we're after not the remote ones just the standard large ones we're not going to do excel right just yet uh oh man i forgot i keep forgetting about this okay so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to run it like this so it means that we'll have to expand this a little bit oh and of course for these guys we would want to do um double level as well Mm, okay, so how are we going to do that? So let's let's grab our first one over there. I'm going to go ahead. Actually, we need two of them to get our um, bonus. So let's let's grab the gate. We'll get the large one um, in here right next to it. So there we go. This is going to be B1 and B2, like bananas. And then we're going to go ahead and grab the foundation. And we're just going to fill this in for um up to up to say there i'm gonna go ahead and dismantle this it's a bit of a convoluted little terminal that we've got going on over here probably need to fill in the rest of this as well oops not dismantle but foundation instead yeah we've got a bit of money we may as well let's fill that in we'll dismantle this make backup backup stands backup stands what are you what do you mean the remote stands or, oh, I mean, I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Um, what's it called? What's it called? Um, where was it? Where was it? It's an operations thing. Somewhere over here. Standby gates. You're talking about stand up, standby gates, right? That's what you're talking about. We will definitely do that. I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll do that. Okay, so now my view is that this time around we need to... Okay, so we will go ahead and do some additional baggage claim over here. Um, get me the fence quickly. So I'm going to... I'm tempted to run the fence down here instead. Well, actually, let's uh, save a little bit of cash and run the fence over there. And then we'll go and dism dismantle this piece. Up to say there. Uh, we'll get some additional doors over here. You're talking about the standby gates, right? That's what you were that you were alluding to with these these backup gates. Windows, we're gonna grab windows, we'll place the windows in here straight away, like so. Now people can start making use of that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab um, the baggage claim area. Ah, perfect. Okay, good. It's good stuff. Good stuff. I'll do a baggage, uh, for, ooh, not from above, from below. We'll kind of see about squeezing it in over there. It's a little tight. It's a little tight over here, but I'll 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 go with it. We're gonna we're gonna go with it, and then we're gonna do some ticketing desks. Um, yeah, potentially even over here, right? We'll do some ticketing desk that runs that runs this section right there. So if we align them, it's obviously not the best use of a conveyor. So actually, what we'll do is let's uh, let's push that back a little. This time around, we'll we'll kind of run it up and down like this, and then the store over there is not going to be the, the end of the world. I think we'll run it up and down like this, like so. So about five like that. And what we'll do is we will, yeah, we can, well, let's, let's find a bit of a conveyor piece there. Utilities, conveyor, uh, we'll run it up, uh, up to about that way. We'll get some additional ticketing desks. 
and we'll do the other the other way around oh blocked by a conveyor really okay well then we'll offset them slightly and at the same time we'll go ahead and grab an extra piece i didn't know that was a thing there oh man um okay can we okay let's uh let's dismantle this one and we'll double check that for a minute um give me th that conveyor see about oh really really you're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna be like that no 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 conveyor honestly that's that's it that's that's what you're gonna you're gonna be like that okay let's do that let's try Oh, too many. you can't have more than five. Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. But we we had more than five here, right? We did this, okay? And then we said ticketing desks. I'm honestly going to check it out. If we do that, right? Okay. Now we've got tons of them. And must be in a functional ticketing area. Yeah, fair enough. We will do that. And potentially we can do an extra baggage claim here. Uh, and we can expand. So let's get ourselves another one. Baggage carousel from below. So we'll get an extra one here. So we'll have like the two of them ready to go there. We want um, this area to be class classified as... Yeah, so let's do like that as a, let's do like that as a baggage claim okay and then we'll get this area to be ticketing over there uh, i'm not too sure okay we probably ended that up like this so i'll do this area here as ticketing so we'll probably give ourselves a little bit more room for that Okay, so we could potentially do quite a substantial piece of ticketing there. I want some kiosks in here as well. Lol, how are you? Thank you so much for joining the stream. Glad to see you. Uh, ticketing, we're still busy with ticketing over here. This is our second kind of ticketing area. So let's go ahead and grab some of these guys up on the wall here that's pretty good um okay one of the things is we finished off this let's quickly see gate control allows you to configure gate related operations which is fine the other thing i wanted to make sure we do is it advanced ticketing ability to sign aircraft gates to specific ticket is on yes so let's get going on advanced ticketing that's going to be important did you read the new dev blog for air uh, putio yes i certainly did that was a great one um i'm really excited and hopefully it'll be it'll be out um as mentioned on the discord um in in a week or so it has been taken a little bit longer than than usual so i'm i am hoping they are getting closer to getting that finished off so that's kind of the idea here we've got this ticketing area now i'll go and grab us another piece of conveyor transition down we'll kind of Oh no, is it blocked? What's what's blocked by ooh? Okay. That's not necessarily the end of the world. It is a little okay, hang on. Let's try this again. If we if we remove one of those, hang on, let's let's go utilities here. You did uh, did you read the uh, the development blog for Epoch CM? What did you think of it? What are, what are you most excited about? Now, let's get that transition down over here. Do, do, do. It's blocked by, by existing conveyor port. Yeah, so that's not going to work. Yes, I'm going to make separated baggage claim and, um, and, 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 uh, and ticketing. So, uh, so these guides over here... We'll continue to operate from this area and i believe we're all set up with that it doesn't need to get any bigger than this then i'm going to provide a new ticketing and baggage claim area over here for these ones and this will be expandable as we go we've obviously got a lot of room here um, and i'm hoping that we can we can expand that a little bit more uh, okay go back to getting that that piece figured out here utilities conveyor we'll get now this thing is is broken again 
Yeah, so for some reason, it just doesn't like what we're doing here. So let's dismantle that. We'll get rid of these guys. And then if we if we squeeze the con then we should squeeze the conveyor in there. We'll get the conveyor uh, the conveyor transition down to get in there. But of course we're going to need this. So let's go here and try and figure it out foundation wise. So if we squeeze foundation like so, and we kind of get rid of the wall pieces over there, I miss. I believe this should work now. Now let's get that uh, transition again. So what what part of the uh, what what are you most really invalid by nearby fence or wall? Oh, there's. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get what's the issue here. Foundation wise, let's uh, let's sort that out and then let's dismantle this piece. And I believe that should now work. So let's go up one level. We'll get to our utilities there. We'll get the conveyor transition down. Yes, excellent. So there we go. So now that will work. We'll just have to wrap it around pretty quickly. Okay, so let's get a bit more foundation going um, like so. We'll dismantle those and we will under utilities run this conveyor. Can it? No, I thought I thought that's a bit that's a bit much we'll uh, we'll let go of that we'll get it to do that which is a little not quite right okay so now let's see if we say ooh, and we're gonna have to bring these two out over here as well okay so there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on here let's make this a consumer please true and um, get the conveyor to go in there perfect so now there's the consumer we will have to run these into separate areas over here so we'll get around to doing that but at least that's the starting point over there so let's get our ticketing up can we potentially um uh, kind of game the system a little bit by adding these yeah absolutely let's game the system let's get them in there so there's a few extra ones there ah uh, i don't think it's actually working i think it is not actually working yeah, so unfortunately, that's not going to work. So that's that wasn't that wasn't great. Now let's uh, so let's dismantle them again. It's all about experimenting, I believe. Okay, so let's uh, dismantle them. We'll get rid of this thing. We'll try and do it one more time. Conveyor, run it like that, and there we go. Okay, so now we've got it there. So if we want to do some more, we're going to have to do additional ones. So we'll have to be very mindful of how that works. Okay, ticketing area is in place. We're doing the research that we need. Lounges and separate terminals and restaurants. Absolutely. I'm most excited about the multi-terminal support, walker lights and passport control. Passport control is the thing. But the one I'm most excited about, actually, I don't think they've actually mentioned it in this, this dev blog, was the separation of the gates so that you've got an exit and an entry channel into the gates. I think that is the thing that I am most excited about. That is going to make a massive difference to how we do it. But yeah, pass password control, absolutely awesome. Uh, let's get some additional staff here. Not sure we can really afford it. And we're still waiting this uh, this to be done. Okay, let's... Uh, okay, there's a, there's a couple of things we need to do here now. First things first, I'm going to grab the foundation and we're going to try and finish off this little section. So let's go ahead, oops, and dismantle there and there. And then we'll go with foundation. Kind of that runs over here somewhere. It looks a little messy, doesn't it? And we'll just try and loop it around back here. So what we'll do is let's just fill out all of that. It all costs money and we don't mind spending it because we are borrowing it from the bank. Okay, so if we do something like that, we get ourselves another baggage hub. The only thing I didn't like about the Walker Light is that there are only three sizes and you can't choose a custom length. Yeah, so it's an interesting one. I'm not sure what the mechanics of that is, but if it makes the pathing easier, I'm co completely happy with it. Um, obviously, in some airport, you've got the option of, um, of extending them to the length you desire. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so if we want a baggage hub, baggage hub, where is, uh, there it is, baggage hub over here. Really? We don't have enough room? My goodness. Okay, more foundation, guys. Always more foundation. Something like that hopefully should do the trick now. 
now we go back to utilities baggage hub and yeah absolutely we'll squeeze it in like that this will become a consumer those two will be coming out yeah that's absolutely right uh to, 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 let's get these pieces in if we can do yep absolutely and like so so those two would work straight away this will go up here and then this this needs to become a producer there we go what come on you need to do that why is this a thing two-way what two-way conveyor what two-way conveyor must form a direct connection to exactly one other up. this is not a two-way conveyor buddies uh what why why is that a, a thing let's try this again you're not a two-way conveyor why are you suggesting you are fine let's try it from scratch all the way and again producer consumer and finish it off honestly honestly you're gonna you're gonna i have no idea why that's the case no idea honestly they should be working i'll do the i'll do the two way over here to go out all the way over here okay we need at the same time i'm done with my homework oh well excellent that means i must have been really effective at helping you it means you should have a, a two-way conveyor between the two hubs oh no but it's not required here is it because there's no other direction come anyway if it, that's fine we can do it two-way it's not the end of the world it just doesn't make sense because it's only one-way traffic coming here but potentially uh between hub and hub it must be two-way okay fine i get it i get it but it's uh, it's still the way i'm using it it shouldn't be a problem but yeah they're probably future proofing if i try and add additional connections in there okay well then fine let's do hub to hub yeah okay it makes sense Hub to hub i can admit it it makes it makes sense so it's fine uh there we go okay so now they've got a two-way system in there so now that should work okay so that's cool uh we needed some taxiway over here how's our money yeah our money isn't too bad we're not spending that money too too rapidly okay so if we start our taxiway over here i am pretty keen on doing the one-way thing with taxiways so we'll definitely add another couple over here but what i thought we'd do is we'd um we'd run taxiway like that and potentially we can do remote stands over here we will see about that as we go uh but i do want to make this one-way taxi oh we still have to unlock it in the research okay so that's that's the thing now the next thing i wanted to do is i wanted to go upstairs here and we will separate this area from whatever other area we're going to do so we're going to do foundations over here and if we say we'll start it up here that spot and ooh, that is big and pricey and whether we need it i don't know potentially we can do it okay let's uh let's look at this again so if we instead of starting it over here somewhere okay so this is all this is ticketing right and we started over there somewhere if we instead started up here okay and we run it wow it's still it's still pretty pricey okay and we'll 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 try and make it a little thinner something like that and we will then run it up here something like that is 10 wide gonna be wide enough no we probably need to go uh i think we need to go all the way i think that's that's the thing we'll do all of that we'll dismantle this little piece there and then that'll be the access points uh requires door to the terminal on floor two yeah absolutely so that's what we're kind of working on over here we need some escalators how is that research going i want that finished please uh okay so now we would want an escalator to go up escalator up please okay that's pretty pricey actually 
Let's rotate that. See where we end up. Oh yeah, that's the that's the spot. Absolutely, that's the perfect spot. So we'll actually if we if we do that, we could squeeze in two of them, right? Okay, let's do that. We'll get Oh, there's a fire. <laughs> There's a fire in the kitchen, guys, um, and I have no idea how to deal with it. Okay, how do we... Okay, I've paused the game because there's a fire. And so I know fires are the thing. What I don't know is how you actually sort it out. Do we need... We've got some workmen. Hopefully they will go ahead and do their thing. Is there anything here we can, we can look to? PA, environment... Uh, packs. Oh, that's the schedule. Nothing, nothing I can see. Um, anybody gonna come and sort out my fire over here? Do I need to phone the police or get a workman over here to come and sort it out? Okay, but so we have an incident in the kitchen and I've just got no idea how we got to deal with that. Staff schedules, overlays. Is there anything here that we can do? Gate control. That's pretty cool. At which time before departure your gate should close? Oh yeah, the self-check-in for airport CEO. Pretty cool. Uh, okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. So hopefully we can sort these guys out a little bit more. Okay, so the fire seems to have been contained. Um... And is that it? Did we lose a staff member? Where's our guy? Doesn't seem like anybody was worried about that fire. Just no idea. <laughs> That's a little weird. Um, this should be the ability to go up, right? Yeah, so that's that's the one we wanted. Um, okay, so now this sector cannot cannot be vacated at the moment. Yes, absolutely right. It, you're right. It cannot be vacated. Uh, what I was thinking, we would vacate it at the bottom over here. So let's get an escalator to go down as well. The escalator down, please. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking we will vacate it somewhere over here. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we'll do that over there. That'll go down there. I want to put in some walls here. Uh, sorry, walls. Just like, uh, like so. And what I'll do is I'll leave a little bit of room so that we could potentially um, go and make that a little bit bigger. Okay, maybe... Uh, yeah, so we could potentially drop down a little bit more guys over there. For now, I'm just going to do a little bit like this. And this is going to kind of be the exit channel. That's the plan. And then these are the gate waiting areas we can we can use over here. Um, so the reason for this. Okay, so with that in mind, we will have to provide a close off over here somewhere. I think that's about the right spot there. So we'll run a wall through there we will get the exits security exits right over here and like so so that's kind of what we're doing there we're going to grab some windows of dutch eh? i uh yeah i uh i can kind of understand if you speak very slowly <laughs> Okay, and there you go. So that's kind of our exit area over here. So presumably we need some stores, duty-free and things like that will go in here. We can also have some duty-free and stuff that's going in on this side. That will all be cool. Okay, now with that in mind, let's get the rest of this stuff going. Are we finishing this off? Excellent. That's very cool. Now let's grab... Okay, so I want some more of these security exits. Because that's kind of how we've been able to manage this whole thing. So what I'm 
tempted to do is grab us um, a security exit in there and a security exit over here. And these two will then get the gates on the other side. Gates, thank you very much. And the idea is that we do slightly larger gates over here. Um, these guys will be doing maybe something like that instead. Okay, something like that. That'll that should move it well. And now we need some um, some doors. La 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 doors. These are pretty huge, so we'll just get the big doors in there. Big doors in there. There we go. And then that's gonna we're gonna be the exit channel. So these guys shouldn't be able to walk out here. Oh, we also need something like a bathroom up here, which we will do maybe up on this side. Okay, so now if we go ahead and say, let's uh, ooh, show non-secure path. Anyway, let's assign that over there to be one. Close and we'll assign this one to be one. And then this is saying it requires being, uh, being secured by one or more. Oh, yeah, yeah. We don't have, ooh, sorry about that. We don't have one, uh, we don't have a security zone. Uh, yes, yes, uh, fair enough. We still need to do that. We need some more staff to come and work these. I understand that also. So let's do that. We'll grab that one over there. Okay, now we finished off that research that I wanted to do. The, um, which one? What was the one? Well, we, we need standby gates, but we finished off gate control yeah that was the one we needed gate control no that wasn't the one advanced ticketing that's the one we figured fi we finished off uh, that one advanced ticketing so let's see about one-way paths vp for finance maybe to low lower our tax rate land expansion is not necessary at this point in time multiple drop-offs and pickups Shall we go ahead and go and work on that? We need a VP for finance. Okay, so these guide engine desks are okay. They just need to be um, set to secure. So the next thing we need to figure out and what I wanted to do here is actually do our secure area up here. So we'll let these guys come in and then we'll let them go into security. But Actually, we can actually let them come back out here, but I uh, will we'll keep an eye on whether that is actually a requirement. I thought what I may do is I might actually go and widen this area a little bit. Something like that, maybe, and then we'll we'll have a slightly larger area for security over here. And we could potentially do the other side also. So for now, we'll do this. We'll get the secure area done. Security... We'll grab this as the security zone. Good stuff. Okay, now security wise, we need to get our bag scanners. Okay, so if we say there and there, okay, and then we'll do here and there and we'll do yeah so that can't work there but there and da, 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 metal detector and there so we should be able to get a fair bit of security through here um, in due course so what I also want to do is I want to do that Ooh, actually let's uh, quickly dismantle that piece let's try that one's okay, but this is going to be this is going to be in the way a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. How shall we do this? If we do it here and there and here, yeah, I think that should be fine. Let's stick with that. Let's stick with that. How did we do it down here? We, oh, they were a little bit further removed, but yeah, we did a very similar thing with the, um, with that location over there. So let's see, I think that a little further removed, they were moved a little bit out. 
because this one if I dismantle that and I try it one more time let's get the bag scanner here uh, yeah it doesn't want to actually work there it can however work here alternatively there but I think let's do it there instead okay so let's go ahead and dismantle all of these and dismantle that we'll give ourselves a little bit more room over here so let's get the uh, foundation please get ourselves a tiny bit more room here okay that should be fine uh, then if we dismantle that spot we should hopefully get the rest going on bag scanners okay so we'll do there and there nice and now we can do the other side as well so let's do um actually that one needs to be dismantled and we'll get the id id check stand and we'll get it uh right next to it over here we'll get the metal detectors in place da -da -da -da. one there one there nice so now security here should be able to work and function at least as a starting point i want to do a nice long queue for Okay, let's do the queues. Let's quickly grab the queues. I want a nice long one. Queues. Okay, so let's say we'll leave room for the next one. Yeah, no, that's not, that's kind of not what I wanted to do. Okay, let's try, let's try it this way. Um, and we will... Uh, can we shrink it from that side? Oh, we can, in fact, shrink it from that. Oh, no, it's the wrong way around. It is the wrong way around. We need to start it on the other side. Kind of always keep forgetting how this stuff works. So if we start it up here, we'll run it down there, we'll run it up here, and we'll run it, say, up to like something like that. And that's kind of going to be the queue, and these guys will just kind of go in that way uh, then we might start the uh, first class cube from the other side so that's kind of okay mm. so let's do first class do um, a little bit like this maybe just do something like that and we'll have these guys go over there okay it's not uh, the tidiest but it is kind of okay so this is coach so please assign you over there um i want you to be assigned here thank you okay so now if i close that let's just say assign there and assign here thank you close similarly i would like to assign you over there and over there thank you and close and i would like to sign you over there and over there okay thank you very much not dismantle close thank you now this one i would like to assign over here close and this one i would like to assign uh over here but also up here oh it doesn't wanna it doesn't wanna okay now let's uh, let's redo that then the queue okay oh it's the wrong way around again I'm I'm weird. I'm weird like that. Uh, that's way too weird. Okay, let's do that, and let's do something like that. Th so hopefully now it will actually assign there because it's pretty close actually. Uh, this is going to be first loss and flight crew. Thank you. Okay, perfect. So we've got the security area kind of ready to go up here, so people should be able to do their thing. Um. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, now. This means this entire area is secure and ready to go. So we can now go ahead and grab some more people to come and work these spots. So we need a ton more. Let's grab a couple of extra janitors. We'll do that for the time being. We need nine more security guards. That is ludicrous for the small expansion we run. And four more of these guys. That's okay. Happy, happy to do that. Why only four? Were they extra people? Uh, no idea. Anyway, there we go. Why are they... Ooh, okay. Now, so with this in mind, I should be able to say, assign to ticketing these... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. 
Hang on. Come on. Cancel, cancel. Get out of there. Close. I need to separate these ticketing areas. They're not they're not the same. That um or they are the same. So if we say ticketing Oh, there's extinguish. I had no I forgot about that. Completely for, I didn't I didn't know about that. Extinguish any fire and heat in your airport with this simple tool. Okay, so it's not a very well thought out um, fire mechanic that this game now has. Okay, so ticketing area. I want to. Um, I want to remove uh, the zone. So that area there. Aha! Now we've got two ticketing areas, and that should not be a ticketing area, by the way. Okay, so now I can say assign to this ticketing area, assign to that ticketing area. Um, this will be assigned over there and over there and over there and over here. Perfect. Okay, so the ticketing areas have been assigned. Okay, what needs to happen next is we need to actually run out some stuff um, over here. But before we do that, I wanted to see if we can do remote gates. I just want to make, I'm not going to do them now. I just want to make sure that we have room for them. So presumably, yeah, we can do one, one, two. We can actually squeeze in three of them. But what I thought is better is if we do them in the middle like that. Yeah, so we could do, we could do it up here or we could do it down there. Uh, yeah, maybe that's that's the thing because we'll continue to expand this a little bit. Uh, actually, then we should probably, if we expand it, do it up here. Okay, let's do that. Let's get the baggage hub is what it's called, right? Baggage hub, baggage depot. We'll get the baggage depot up over there. I believe that should be fine. So if we do that... And we go with gates again. Large remote gate. Yeah, that's fine. Perfecto. Okay, that's good. That is very good. Now we will run a baggage hub over here. We'll kind of run all these things together. See how that works. Okay, so give me some more foundation. Uh, something like that. Our money... Is, is everything free to build? Because I cannot understand why we still have this much money. Honestly, I did not select anything to do that. So it is a little weird. Oh, a fire has started. Fire trucks are on their way. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think the game works. <laughs> because... Because the fire truck... Never came. This thing just kind of slowly kind of killed itself. So, okay, that's okay. Now let's get ourselves um, the baggage hub. The baggage hub. Yeah, that's the one. The baggage hub is what we're after. So we'll squeeze in the baggage hub, um, say, over there. And then we need to kind of connect these two together. So let's go and get our foundation tool. We'll kind of run it as straight as possible up here and as straight as possible down like that and there we go now let's dismantle this i don't think this is costing us any money so it's kind of almost like a, a bit of a a sandboxy playthrough which is not quite what i was going for but anyway we will uh we will persevere okay two-way conveyor uh let's uh make this up to up and we'll go and get the hub to hub connection so this is saying it's going to cost us okay let's let's check this out so this is saying it's going to cost us nine thousand two hundred and forty and it ended up costing us nothing i don't know why it's sandbox it wasn't what i selected so it's a little weird for me um over here we would want bags to go in aha so this one is fine Okay, this one needs to become a producer of bags, which is also a little weird to call it a producer of bags. We'll squeeze it in there, and there we go. So now they should be connected up all the way together. Um, I want to assign this to over there and over there. I need us to get an extra hanger. So yeah, our construction is ending up, it's not costing us anything in the end. 
Um, hmm. Should we do a large hanger over here then? Yep, I'm going to do that. And we're going to say assign some vehicles there. One, two baggage cars is fine for now. Excellent. So that means this is all up and running and ready to go. Uh, I need some staff to come and work here though. Did I hire the staff and have it paused all along or am I going to expect some more people to arrive? I need to figure out this uh, this area as well. Oh yeah, here comes some more staff. And I'm assuming they're heading upstairs. Yeah, absolutely. There they go. Tons of staff going in there. Excellent. Nice. We need to clean up this area uh, nicely. But for now, uh, we obviously won't have any people here. We do want to get ourselves nice bathrooms in here. Um, and then we'll do um, some nice seating and the likes. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a bit of wall in there. Why, 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 why are you going? What, what is this? What, 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 what is this? What is, what is happening here? Why would you, why would you go, why would you do that? There is absolutely no reason for any of these people to be going through this secure area. And they're doing it again. There's some more. Why? Oh man, this is, this is the thing that, that frustrates the hell out of me. It should not, it should not do this. Because there's really no reason. There is nothing for them over here. Nothing. They're just doing, they're just doing this walk. Secure, secure, secure. Okay. I have no idea why these guys continue to do this thing. There's really no reason for that. There is absolutely no demand. It's not a bathroom. There's not a restaurant. There is nothing that is causing them or that, that could cause them to come up here. So that is really frustrating. Really frustrating. Okay. So let's go to the bathrooms. Uh, female restroom. Female, female restroom. Okay, so female restroom, like so. Male restroom, like so. And I believe, I'm not too sure. Hang on, let's try this again. Restroom. If we, oh man, there's a big gap in there. There's a too wide gap there. Uh, oh, is there? Is there a two wide gap? Uh, I have no idea. Can I? Okay, hang on. There's a there's an option here. Let's quickly have a look. So gameplay. I believe it's in here. Uh, nope. 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 None of that. Um, gameplay. Uh, zone overlays. Let's just zoom that in. Okay, perfect. So actually, it's perfect. It is perfect. So let's do that. We'll um, finish that piece off and yeah, our zone overlays are ridiculous now. Let's get some doors in here. See, the re so people doing this kind of walk that they're doing over here is really, um, is really the reason why we're going to start missing perfect ops bonuses and the likes. Okay, so now let's get some toilet stalls in here so that's the female restroom so we'll just kind of fill it up yeah something like that should be fine um we'll get some sinks going on okay and then we'll get uh do we have like a hand dryer I believe we do we don't uh what else what else goes in there okay this side this uh, we'll do this side as well. Toilet stalls. Uh, yeah, we'll do. We'll start it off like that, and then we'll do urinals on the other side there. Da -da -da. Okay, like that, and then we'll get some sinks in place.
Okay, and now let's just grab some plants because it's nice. Something like that and something like that. Okay, good. So now that should work. Let's go back to the options and we'll just try and uh, maybe not make that overlay as extreme. Yeah, that's that's probably a little better. Okay, so that's good. Okay, now let's see. It's the end of the day. Let's quickly schedule some flights for um, for these two new gates. Um, in the morning, we would like. Who, who do we have? Um, we don't have, haven't negotiated any deals yet. The question is, should we do that? Should we should we go ahead and negotiate one of these deals? Uh, okay, well let's uh, let's go ahead. We'll speak to a Ford Air. We've got a rep assigned to them. Uh, we've got a seven oh seven for the for the morning flight already. Um, shall we uh, look at negotiating? Upsell your contracts to airlines by offering an exchange for higher fees. You can also request additional planes. You must accept at least eight flights from this airline to negotiate. Okay, fine. So let's accept that one. That's definitely something we're going to grab. And we're going to grab the 767 as well for the evening slot. Okay, so uh, then we'll do... The, oh, that's actually a new an afternoon slot. Okay, fine. Uh, let's do a little bit of that. And we'll get the evening slot over there. Who else do we need to accept some more flights with? Uh, Aero time. Uh, anybody with a morning one? Eh? Oh, that's that's morning flights. Let's grab these. Morning, morning. So we'll get those morning flights in there. Excellent. Aero time. Okay, we'll start the morning with one of those. We'll give them a little bit of gap. Uh, and then we'll actually go ahead and do that. See about squeezing that in perfectly there. Um, there's then another bit of room here again. Okay. It can't actually go there So let's see about that. We'll give a little bit of an extra gap there. Is there any other things that we can do star flight? Maybe Those are all small ones. Oh, we want an afternoon flight actually. So let's go with the large flights in the afternoon um, Atlantic International is going to give us a 707. We'll grab that one and we will Squeeze it in there. I believe that should be fine. That's a, that's a morning flight only. Okay, so that is a fair bit. But what I'm also keen on doing is getting one more though. So star flight over here can give us a 767. So let's accept one more 767 there. And we'll squeeze it in. Gonna say somewhere over there. I'm thinking that is kind of okay. So let's do one big gate is going to be used here. Let's get some benches going on. I think airports here will offer a lot more than some airport. Yeah, well, that's generally my feel of it. Uh, what's your long time, uh, long term plan for this airport? Uh, play it until airport CEO comes out. <laughs> no, I, I will, I will, I will finish it off. But there's nothing too major. I just wanted to check the new mechanics. Um, so we'll try and do make it a nice, uh, not too big airport. Maybe there's another runway coming in here. Maybe we fill in some gates here. Maybe we'll even run up a couple of gates up here. But that's kind of it. It's going to be a very basic, simple one, really. Um, benches. Going to go with these guys. So let's see. Oh, we do need some queues here. So what we'll do is we will do seating we'll try and maximize seating in this area nope don't do that okay so something like this uh, let's just dismantle uh, that one thank you dismantle that um, now let's um, swing it around there there and there okay so now we've got a little bit of seating up there what we can do is we can also run seating down um, the sides over here. Absolutely, that's working quite well. I want to grab us some windows so we can make it look nice. So it's morning time. We've got guys running through the airport, um, even though there are no flights. So I'm absolutely thrilled that they're doing that. So 
So a little bit of that going on. So now at least you can uh, kind of see your flight coming in. We need some nice flooring over here. Let's grab some two different car styles of flooring. Uh, actually, um, really, is that is that it? Can I go to floors over here? And there was this uh, copper 2B over here that I'm going to use in the secure area. Why why can you run straight through there? This is a secure area. This this is this is not on. Honestly, honestly, that's not on. The game, this game is, is frustrating me now. It's really frustrating me. I'm going to go with the green. So when airport uh, A A35 releases, you will just finish this airport and then stop the series. No, not necessarily, but uh, but I, I, I'm trying to figure out kind of what what's new, how it's working. But what I see over here is, is, is not great. I mean... This is supposed to be the release version and these guys are running like, you know, there's no reason for for these guys to be running through here like this. But for some reason, they're passing through through this uh, through this, this terminal section without actually having any purpose to be here. So as long as it does stuff like that, it's not not great. Um, I wanted to do a bit of a green color here, the same I done on the other side. So let's uh, let's fill in the green over here, and I want to do all the way like that, and then I want to do a different color um, for the exit channel. Potentially, I don't know. I feel like they don't they don't give us too much nice options. I'm gonna go with something like that, maybe uh, or something like that. I want to go over my green stuff here. Okay, there we go. So now, yeah, that that looks actually quite nice because it's kind of a, a lighter shade of the green. Okay, these guys are waiting for their flights to come in, so that's pretty awesome. Oh, one of the stuff that I need to do is grab the garbage cans over here, everywhere, and then we'll. Uh, ooh, and we also don't have. We also don't have. Um, The other piece that we're missing is the, um, what am I saying? The cues. Let's get the cues in place. So let's grab the cues. So uh, I'm not too sh Why? This is so difficult to do. Um, so should we run a bit of a queue like this? It's a little weird to run a queue like that. Uh, what I'll do is I'll run a short business queue over here or first class queue over there. Similarly, we'll do a short queue like that. And then what we'll do is we'll run um, a longer queue. Yeah, so potentially what I should do is get rid of a few. I should get rid of a few of these benches and just uh, zigzag the queue through there. At the moment, I don't think that's the greatest. Okay, so let's uh, assign it to um, this one here for the coach. This one will assign over there for coach, but also on this side for first class and flight crew. Thank you. Uh, over here, we'll assign for, come on, let's just do that. This is going to be for first class and flight crew over there, but also going to be assigned to coach. This one to coach only. There we go. Perfect. So now, where's our, where's our first flight? Hang on. Hang on, there's a, there's a something wrong. See, we uh, we're already um, having massive issues here because of these guys pathing through here. So there's a big big issue here. Um, I would have expected a little bit more from from a released version. If it's still one thing, if it's an early access and they're adding new features constantly, but as it is, it's a little bit problematic. Okay, guys, um, it seems our flights aren't actually arriving and we've got some all kinds of other issues now. So, uh, but yeah, and it's the end of the stream. So I do thank you for watching. I'll try and figure this out a little bit more uh, before the next stream. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining in and for the conversation we've had going on the, uh, on, on, on the stream. I, it was fun. I appreciate it. Um, for those of you on YouTube uh, catching this later, please uh, please leave your comments down below. Join us on the Discord. And uh, yeah, feel free to hit that like button if you've enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye-bye.